Hey everyone, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. Going for a head shave today. I'm going to be using the Murgress combo with the brush and the razor today. And I'm going to be using a soap, which I don't think I've used yet. This was sent to me from Spence over at Spence Shaves. Wickham Super Smooth. And it is Imperial Tonic. I've got my glasses on, can't read that fancy writing that small. Now, it's pretty much unused. I did do a few test lathers with it when I was breaking these brushes in. And these are pretty old now. These are probably two years old. I think these super smooth the tubs. The labels are waterproof both sides. And in here, all you've got is potassium stearate, potassium cocoate, potassium lardite, potassium apritocurnalate, aqua, glycerin, and parfum. And it's a, it's a take very similar to Chilla. That sort of almond marzipan sort of scent, but there's a little bit more to this. There's something else happening in here. I don't know what it is, but it's a slightly more cologne something through it. I'm not sure, but it is really nice. This one is batch by the looks of things. A double double O three three, so number thirty-three I would think from the very beginning. And let's get stuck in. So got my Murgress brush soaking. So this has got, for those of you that haven't watched before, it's got a 24mm Manchurian white and this was set by Tony Forsyth from TF Custom Shaving Brushes over here in Australia and as you can see it's, I've used it quite a bit, it is starting to gel, it's starting to hook, it's just a great knob, it's really soft, it's not what heaps of backbone which I do and don't like, I do like it that it's soft and, but I prefer just a little bit more backbone in it, but it's a beautiful knot. It's got a lovely shape as well. So I've just flipped out the water. I'm just going to load the brush up. I'm going to head ladder with this today. I've got no idea how it's going to go. Now, I've had mixed results with this soap as well. I've had times when I've used it and it's went really thick and creamy, and other times where I've used it where it's went airy and bubbly. So hopefully I get the thick and creamy this time rather than the aerated. I'm going to overload this brush big time. Just going to dip the tips now. Back on the soap. So for those of you that watched my shave yesterday with the straight, or not the straight with the chevet, I lost my van keys. I did actually find them courtesy of my wife who pointed me in the right direction when she got back from hospital and found them pretty much from the first guess of where she thought they might be. <laughs> so, for you guys out there, you'll know exactly what I mean. And gals. actually going through the legalising or the process of whether it will be legalised or not for same sex marriages. Doesn't affect me, doesn't bother me, I'm not a religious man. Um, if you're a man and you want to be with a man and you wouldn't want to be with a woman, who am I to tell you not to do it? So that's all I have to say on it. Right, this is super, super loading. This is a uh, I sort of got a bit carried away there, I forgot what I was doing and just kept going. Now in terms of my Chebec shaves, they're going to stop, not going to stop, but stop. I was going to have a shave every day for 30 days, but I can't. I am starting to get some problems down here, a couple of ingrown hairs which I had to sort out today, easily sorted. They weren't bad ones like the last ones I had. But I don't want to go down that road again, so here we go, let's just start painting some of this on. The thing about head lathering when you're breaking in a brush is it's a massive area and if your hair is sort of a bit of wind, if you've got some hair growth on there, it actually helps in breaking the tips of the brush in. Just dip the tips now. I can't 
can't tell now at this point whether it's a, going to be an aerated lather or not, whether it's going to be thick and creamy. But it looks pretty good. The scent's great. It's not a super strong scent. I would say it's around about a four. But it's, it is a nice scent. It does smell like cello. If you like cello, then you'll want the scent of this. And the Wickham's super smooth range. A lot of guys, when they brought out 1912, sort of spat the dummy because they wanted super smooth again. They absolutely love it. And since trying this 1912, they still want super smooth. Now, Darren is in the process. Darren's the owner of Wickham. Has been formulating a version 2.0 of the super smooth range. Right, well, I'm just going to go with that to that. That's really thick. It needs a lot more water, but because I've overloaded the brush so much, there's not much I can do with this first lather. Right, so like I said, I'm pairing that up with the Mergress razor today. I haven't used the Mergress in a head shave for a while now. Got it set three, and I've got the brand new Rapira Sweetie Super Steel, which I haven't used for probably eight months. Let's just see how it feels. Setting three with the grain. Feels like it's doing nothing. What's going on? Let's take that up to setting five. It still feels like it's doing nothing, but it, <laughs> it's cutting the hair. I've got about four or five days growth, I think. I can't feel this cutting the hair. It's really strange. I don't know if it's the blade or because the lather's so thick, but it is taking it down. I can feel it cutting, oh, sorry, I can hear it cutting the hair, but I can't actually really feel it, it just seems to be slicing straight through. Like I say, I've got quite a bit of growth here. So I do, I do enjoy using the head blade for my head shaves, but there's nothing, in my opinion, beats a DE. Right down to the enjoyment factor of it, it's just enjoyable for me to use a DE. You've got to have some sort of level of skill with it, or a reasonable level of skill with it. It's definitely a totally different feeling razor to the Wunderbar. It's not quite as smooth feeling. Still does a great job. The Wunderbar, I don't really feel it. It's an amazing razor. I'm actually quite interested to try this blade in it now. Because this blade is doing a fantastic job of taking that growth down. I know there's guys out there do straight against the grain, no matter how long the growth is. But I can't. It, it irritates me. It feels uncomfortable. I can do it with sort of maybe maximum a day and a half growth to two days. Then after that, I really need to go with the grain as I am now. 
to get that first lovely smooth pass. Otherwise I end up with irritation and it's just not comfortable. So that was an excellent sort of first pass there. My sink's full of hair so I need to rinse that out. I'm interested just to see. How the razor blade goes against the grain because that is very smooth with the grain. I'm a little bit worried because there's not much slickness, residual slickness that is. And it could be partly why the why there was a just like this isn't great after that first pass because it was so dry. Start to see a bit of a gloss on the on the ladder now that I'm dipping the tips. See to me now, this looks a little bit airy. And it's not that there's not a lot of soap in my head, there's loads. I reckon this is going to dissipate. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Right, I'm going to knock this down to setting three now. And go against the grain. When the cream soaps on there, when the lather's on there, it is slick. I do feel like I've got a level of protection, which is good. But there's nothing there now. That's squeaky sticky, if that makes sense. just like this or a lack of for me is extremely noticeable 
because I need it for my head really to get a close shave which I to get a, a BBS head shave I really need residual sleekness So what I'm going to have to do with this is actually lather my head up again and keep lather on my head. At all times when I'm shaving. But I'm still getting a closer shave, not as close as I would have hoped after two passes, and there was just slickness. Oh, sorry, we can but just based on this soap alone, it's the worst I've had from any soap. There is none, absolutely none. Fingers are just sticking to my head. Now this is an old soap. It may have lost its pizzazz. I don't know. I have used Super Smooth before a different scent. I can't remember what the scent was now. But it was pretty good. I'm just going to dip my tips and go back to the soap because this, this isn't filling me with any confidence at all really, if I'm honest. And you know me, I never go back to the soap, so the fact that I am gives you a good indication of where I'm at with the soap. So normally now, I would be going through my pickups using residual slickness. Because there's not much left, but I can't do it with this soap. I need soap on my skin. I need lather on there for protection and for the slickness. Oh, but the scent scent's great. It really is a nice scent. Once it's on your head and you thicken it up a bit and dip it in again, but you can see there it's going clear, it is dissipating enough, it's quite thick. But even then the slickness actually on here isn't great with the soap. Seems to be working with the blade. Does it fill me with confidence? Not even in the slightest if I'm honest. I'm contemplating grabbing a bit of head slick. 
just to help me through this final phase of touching up. Because there's no, there's no slickness on there at all, nothing. I'm literally dropping, bouncing the blade along my head. I really am putting my skin on the line here with this. I know the big guy saying, well, bloody use something else. Put something else on if it's that bad. There we go. I think I've got it. Nicely, I think I've got a bit of roof. got a really sore spot there. I think it's a spot. Slickness is shocking. <laughs> no, it's not residual slickness, there's nothing, there is no residual slickness. making my shave last a lot longer than it should have. I should be done with finishing by now. And I know my average shave is 30 minutes anyway, so I'm still on pat on, so I'm close for that. But I reckon I would have been done about two or three minutes ago if I wasn't having to really go over and over again. Thank you. 
I'm basically just scooping. Funny feeling if I don't stop soon, it's gonna be blood. There'll be people out there watching saying, Oh, bloody stop, you idiot, what are you playing at? And then there'll be them saying, Oh, yeah, a bit of blood. That's what I come here for. It's been a while since you cut your head. apologise about the length of this one, this is just due to lack of slickness and I think the razor as well, I don't find the razor to be anywhere near as efficient as the Wunderbar. The Wunderbar just does a quicker, easier job of it. I mean look how thick, I mean this is thick stuff. There's a bit of slickness now actually, I've got to say I do feel a bit of protection and slickness here, the slickness is is there, but it's still not, not what I expected, I was expecting way, way more from Wickham soaps. Like I say, this could have been sat in the sun for a long time, it could have, could be anything. But as far as Almond scented soaps go. I would go with Chella. Just based on the use of this so far. But this soap, they won't know much of this soap going around there. In fact, it's pretty much a sort of. The word that she used on obtainium. I can't, can't get hold of it anymore. It's not made. So in that regard it's still nice having it in the den but Unscathed, I've got no weepers, no creepers. It's real sore spots here. I'm wondering if they're ingrown hairs. I really don't know. It's hurt when I actually push it, it goes right through my head like a like a headache sort of pain. But I feel like I've got BBS there. So let's pop some Humphreys cucumber melon on. Let that dry in. I can clean my brush out, clean the soap out, and 
and finish off with some moisturiser. Right. Now I squeezed most of the soap out of the brush there, but I've just put it under the water. Squeezed it and it went in that sort of aerating way when you've not got a thick creamy lather. Like I say, I did have mixed results with this soap. Sometimes it seemed to get a great lather, and other times it was pretty average. So I've obviously got a pretty average one for the shave today, which isn't great, but got a good shave out of it, I suppose. At the end of the day, it's still a good shave. So with the natural hair brushes I basically do this quite a bit and what I'm doing is starting with my hand so it's going that way and then I turn it so it's going that way so I'm actually brushing the bristles separate ways and I find this if you use a sort of dry not super soft towel quite a crispy towel call them crispy in the window cleaning world where it's not softened by water soft uh, by softeners and things like that I find it aids in splitting the hairs quicker. Oh, it does smell good now though. But it is a beautiful knot. It really is. It's splayed out nice now and you can see the you can probably see the discoloration now that's coming around the top, it's starting to work its way down the aluminium. So you can see it's bright silver there. And then you can see the sort of gold colour. So it's actually discolouring and it looks quite nice. I'm actually quite happy with it. I didn't think I would be, I'm not into that, I like things to look new and shiny but because that brush came to me all scratched up I think it looks better now that it's actually starting to go that way it looks more rustic Right, so <coughs> the soap for today was Wickham Super Smooth or Wickham Soap Company Super Smooth Imperial Tonic It smells great, it smells very similar to Chilla It's got a pretty good scent strength, 4 or 5 it is nice, it smells great. Now I will use it for a face shave as well, I might use it for my next face shave, but I am using a chevette, so it's sort of putting me off a little bit. But I might try it with a synthetic brush, which might assist in making a better lather. I'm still not great with these natural hair brushes, but I am getting better. So that was that. The brush was obviously, I've just shown you, the Murgress with the 24mm Manchurian White from Tony Forsyth. This is super soft, the tips on this, it really is incredible. The Murgress razor, which was started on setting three, up to to five for my first pass, and then back down to three again to finish off and touch up. And the blade that was in there, that's all white now. Is a Rapira Su Swedish Super Steel? Was it Rapira Swedish Super Steel? Very very good blade, very smooth, felt very sharp. It took me a lot longer to get my buffing done. I'm not sure if it's down to the blade or not, but I've got a great shave, I don't get any irritation, so I can't shoot the blade down at all. Moved on to Humphreys Cucumber Melon, which is excellent. I do probably prefer the actual witch hazel side of Humphreys as opposed to Thea's, but I prefer the scent of Thea's. So it's a bit, bit hit or miss with both. I, I like them both for the, I mean, I would prefer it to work better and smell better. So I would probably in general choose Humphreys over it. I'm going to finish off now with some head lube glossy. Now you don't need loads of this. It does go quite a long way. Is it as close as I get? with the Wunderbar or the head blade you know, there's it's a few little bits here and there and it is close, it is BBS almost but I'm happy with it, there's enough gone to make me happy I don't have to touch it up again but that's that's dried in already and as you can see it really does gloss up the gloss up the skull it makes the coconut shine anyway 35 minutes, I think that's plenty hope you guys enjoyed it, I sort of did I've managed to use this, well, Wickham Soap's one of my favourite soaps, 1912 range. Super smooth hit and miss. Had I used that prior to buying any Wickham Soaps from 1912 range, I probably wouldn't have bought any. So I'm sort of glad this came afterwards. 
But anyway, if you've got any questions, put them down below. If not, you guys have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.